Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Cougar UIX software. This is uh, their software for customizing many of their their uh, products, their peripherals, and things like that. In this case, we're going to be customizing the 600M gaming mouse, but we do have an ability to switch between products if we had multiple peripherals plugged in uh, right down here. Right now, of course, it says we're on our 600M. That's the only product I have plugged in, so um, so we have that. You have three buttons on the bottom, OK, Apply, and Cancel. So when you make changes, of course, you can apply them to the profile that you have selected. So there are three profiles. You have mode one, two, and three. And you can change the LED color of the mouse, the little LED around it. Um, for each mode so just by looking at the mouse you'd know which which mode you're on like right now we have all three of them set to different different colors you also can change the pictures here for uh, each gaming profile so so right now we're on mode one and if you wanted to change the picture that shows up for mode one uh, you can go into the game profile management they actually have a couple here you can select the profile and click edit choose the picture they have a few of them already set, so you can save them into the software. Uh, you also, of course, have the ability to import and export profiles from this, so you can give them to other people who are using the same peripherals or download them maybe from the internet. You can create new profiles in here uh, to switch between. Reset, of course, to reset everything back to default. You notice the picture changed. Of course, we have our DPI settings. So you have four levels, switchable levels of DPI settings. You can turn them off by unchecking the box if you only wanted three, for example. And you just drag the slider back and forth to change the DPI setting for that level. Of course, you can also independently set the X and Y axes DPI. So if for some reason you wanted slightly different settings, you have that ability. You also can do sniper DPI settings. So there is this, the sniper button, 45 degree angle sniper button on the mouse when you push down on it. It's going to actually lower the mouse to whatever DPI you set for the sniper level. In order to set those independent XY variables like I was talking about before, you have to actually check the, the box down here to make it so that they're not linked together. Of course, you can change the polling rate, 125 hertz all the way up to 1,000 hertz, angle snapping, and then lift height. So this is the height that before the, you have to lift it to before the mouse stops taking, um, picking up the signal and everything like that. So if you're somebody who only wants to lift it up a little bit and have it not move the mouse, the cursor at all, you would move this down to low. You want it to be able to really move it if you're in a fast paced type environment you can put it up on high and it'll continue to move it as you try to move it around your mouse pad double click speed of course you can you can adjust scroll speed and the windows pointer speed and whether your mouse acceleration is enabled under key assignments you can actually set the, what the buttons do for each of the um, buttons and of course each of these profiles is independent so you have your basic buttons some advanced things such as adjusting the DPI and also the ability to change or to create macros macros for for the mouse uh, you definitely have the ability to pick a bunch of different options here lots of different things that are available to you. Uh, and if you do want to set one of these to, for example, change your mode, that's the um, mode switch here, and keyboard mode switch, keyboard and mouse mode switch, you just literally drag the icon down to the button that you want it to go to. That's how that works. Then you click apply to make that change, and it saves the changes to the mouse, to the memory on the mouse. Lighting control, you can do a customized lighting. You can set it to a breathing effect. You can set it to be lit all the time, or you can turn off the LEDs if you don't like them. So right now, this is set to orange. If we wanted to set it to purple, click purple, apply, 
and the lighting on the mouse is changed to purple. So that's pretty much the Cougar 600M gaming mouse and what you're able to customize using the Cougar UIX software. I hope this video was informative to you and helped you uh, set everything up. So definitely don't forget to read the full review and take care.